This is the Washington Times front page for Tuesday, August 8th, 2023. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. Ohio voters will decide whether changes to the state constitution will require the support of a simple majority or 60% of voters. Tom Howe reports a special election Tuesday asks Buckeye State voters to raise the support threshold for an amendment to pass and eliminates a 10-day curing period when citizen campaigns can collect additional signatures for ballot questions. It also doubles the number of counties from which signatures must be collected, from half to all of Ohio's 88 counties. The outcome will have a major impact on a November fight over an abortion measure. Voters will be asked this fall whether a fundamental right to reproductive freedom should be added to the Ohio Constitution as states navigate the fallout from the Supreme Court's decision overturning Roe v. Wade. A federal judge pressed special counsel Jack Smith to explain why he used a D.C. grand jury to investigate the Florida-based case against former President Trump over his handling of classified documents. In a brief order, Dave Boyer and Jeff Mordock report U.S. District Judge Eileen Cannon ordered prosecutors to address the legal propriety of using an out-of-district grand jury proceeding to continue to investigate and or seek post-indictment hearings. Cannon is based in South Florida, where Smith filed an indictment against the former president and where the trial is expected. The charges were based on a recommendation of a grand jury in the district. Curbing gun violence is a priority of President Biden's re-election campaign messaging. Jeff Mordock reports the president has taken several executive actions and signed the first major gun safety bill in nearly three decades. Yet the nation still struggles with gun violence. At least nine mass shootings this past weekend left more than a dozen dead and many others injured. No one was identified or arrested in any of the shootings. Four or more people have been hit in 427 shootings this year, according to the Gun Violence Archive, which tracks mass shootings. Americans are demanding an end to the shooting, and the president believes their anger will make gun violence a potent issue in the 2024 campaign. The surprisingly early World Cup exit by the defending champion U.S. women's national team seemed to have elicited as much derision as sympathy among Americans. Matt Paris reports the team remarked on social media in the wake of their round of 16 loss, the earliest American elimination in the history of the tournament. Some members, led by Megan Rapinoe, had come under criticism for refusing to sing the national anthem at the World Cup. Rapinoe has used her position as a platform. She's taken a knee during the national anthem, protested racism, and criticized the Supreme Court's ruling overturning abortion rights. And finally, Russia is shifting its focus toward developing nations, including North Korea, as the U.S. and much of the rest of the developed world shun them because of the war in Ukraine. North Korean-built rockets have begun appearing on the battlefield in Ukraine, the Financial Times reported. The Biden administration has accused Russia of seeking munitions from North Korea to fuel its faltering invasion. Find all of today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app. And find us wherever you get your podcasts. Just search Washington Times in any major podcast app. You can also find us on Twitter and Instagram at Wash Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo. 